What's up, you guys? Welcome to my bedroom. Welcome. To Dan's bedroom. This is where it happens. This is where the magic happens. This is where Eric likes to hang out all the time. I have to beat him with a bat and get him out. <laughs> now, you guys, today we're going to go over something really cool. Uh, this used to be just a plain Jane bedroom. You hear the nailing going on back there. We got uh, Paul, Paul putting in some wood floors. Um, Actually, the whole flooring project came out nice. Yeah, the whole flooring project came out nice. We're going to be doing something with that with Home Depot at a later date. But uh, right now, we want to talk about the Haiku fan from Big Ass Fans. You guys know I'm a big ass fan of big ass fans. Yes. They have awesome lighting, garage shop lighting. They make killer fans. Um, and you'll see them all over the place, industrial places. We go to this place up in Wisconsin all the time. We take the kids to this water park. They got big ass fans. I mean, these fans are huge. Really? Oh, yeah. And it's cool. They're big ass fans, man. Yeah, they're big they're, ass fans. You know, but they're just, they're cool. They're totally cool. Now, the cool thing about this, you guys, is uh, they're a little more expensive than other fans, but they have tons of, they're like the first smart fan, I would say. In what way? They're just, they're just so smart, tons of functionality. Like, I never have to mess with this light. Obviously, we got it on today as it's daylight, but it's smart enough to know if I just put it on manual or auto mode, yeah. it just turns on when you walk in. Oh, that's and so go, like a motion sensor. Yeah, like okay. a motion sensor light. And there's a whole bunch of different brightnesses to it. There's different styles of fans you guys can get. I believe this is the Bamboo series, you guys. You can add the light to it. You don't need the light, whatever. The now, blades. The light, in all honesty, the light, it doesn't look. I mean, if it's dark outside, does it light up this room or yes, is it a little yes, bit? Yes, really, it really I'm does. Surprised. And okay. it comes with a different shade that makes it darker. Okay. So it might not be as light. And what's this center for? I mean, is it? can you add stuff on it? No, that's, really the that's, okay. that's the sensors. That's the sensors. So. A uh, couple cool things that this can do also is, watch, if you have an Alexa at home, you might want to turn it down. Alexa, turn off the light. Okay. So, That's as you can cool, see, man. Yeah. yeah, it was weird. At first, I had to tell it, turn off the light in the master bedroom. Okay. But then now it just says turn off light. Alexa, turn off the fan. Alexa, turn off the fan. Yeah, you heard it beep. Yeah, right you heard it beep. So, wow, really cool. Yeah, so you can control it from Alexa. You can control it from a wall switch. I actually have the wall switch. I was gonna install it, but then I figured out it wasn't wired for it. But you don't need it. Well, why? It, when you got that and you got this. Right. It comes with this remote. Um, yeah. So Alexa, turn the fan on high. Alexa, turn the fan on high. My Alexa's really being weird today with all the stuff going now, on. Now, can over you? There. You can obviously reverse it. No, times a season. it doesn't reverse. Doesn't need to. It doesn't need to. It's a summer and winter fan. Really? It's the wow. way the blades are shaped. Interesting. Has something called whoosh mode, you guys, which is really cool, which mimics wind. Oh, are you serious? Put that yeah. on. I want to hear that. So, well, you don't hear it. Does it go whoosh? No, but I want to feel it. I, guess I will. Okay. Say. So I'll hit whoosh mode. Uh, so what it will do is it'll speed up and slow down, speed up and slow down. I haven't really seen it do it. Um, yeah, it throws a nice breeze. Yeah, it and really 16 does. speed and it's silent, you guys. 16 speeds? Yeah, That's and it's insane. virtually silent. That's more than my bicycle. <laughs> well, yeah. Listen to it. All you can hear is the blades. All right, you guys, so here's the app. Obviously, I have one fan. It also connects to my Nest. It talks to my nest and tells the temperature to the nest in here. So if I want it to be a certain temperature. Are you still in there, on whoosh mode on it? Yeah. Yeah, it just went down. Yeah, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. So we're gonna go to master bedroom. Obviously, here's all the speeds and we can turn the light on or off. There's the light on. We could dim the light, all different dimming settings. Um, here's the instruction manual. Auto comfort, mine's off. So what hey, is you know, auto? Stand over here, dude, because I'm still getting a reflection. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so Here. auto. Do me a favor, just turn it right like that. There you go, perfect. Auto comfort mode, you guys. So here's what it does: smarter cooling, uh, smarter heating, uh, makes your fan spin slowly during colder months, gently pushing warm air down. Smart thermostat. It's not in auto comfort mode. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put works with Nest. So I want it to be my ideal temperature in here, 68, right? Right. Yeah, so yeah. it's a good time. So I'll keep it at that. Then I can click over here. Fan sensor. What is the fan sensor enabled? I got to look that up. Light sensor enabled. Oh, because the fan will turn on when you come in here. Oh, uh, But so okay. you see, does that contradict? That's things I got to find out. Does it contradict that auto mode I just put it in? Oh, yeah. But that's yeah. okay, because I'd rather save energy and this not be going until I come in here. Um, 
Oh, sense me technology detects when you enter or leave the room automatically, turning your Haiku device on or off. Okay, so that's cool. Um, the third one here is schedule. We can schedule events. I don't even know why I have a schedule event here. I was just going to delete it. But basically, that's like you can set it to, you know, from 8 p.m. to midnight if you're up to do the sensing. And then after midnight, when you walk in and out, the light will be off. Okay, gotcha. You, you. know? Um, so that's cool. Right here, sleep mode. Sleep mode allows you to program your fan and light to specific settings and behaviors to make going to bed more comfortable. So ideal temp at sleeping, wake up settings, so we can turn the light on slow, which is kind of cool. See, I like that. See, at the house, I don't think I've ever turned my fan off in the last five years. Really? It stays on all the you time. You have a ceiling fan? Yeah. Well, you got to clean it, dude. Well, I know that. We clean it. I mean, I can turn it off, I guess, to clean it, but always it's on always. And here's whoosh you mode turn it again. to do the, oh. There you go. Here's whoosh mode to show you uh, the very speeds. And there's the actual remote. I hear it getting louder again. Yep. You have to aim this up to it to get uh, the fan to work. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it down a little bit so it's up all the way. We'll put it on speed two. And it always has a beeping confirmation. So that's that, Eric. That's the Haiku fan app. Very cool. Um, but you know what's the cool thing? What you want to show? I'm actually going to put it on high again. Let me just zoom in on over there. Watch this, you guys. I'm going to zoom in on this fan, and I'm going to show you at how stable this fan is. Because you know how certain fans, you get some movement, you know, or some rocking or something like that? Now it's on high. Here we go. It's so quiet. I'm going to show you how stable this fan is. Okay, it's going to full speed right now, and you guys can see that's not even moving. Look at through the camera, Eric. That plate's not even moving. That smooth. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, the one I got now, too, is really smooth. Oh, I've never had such a smooth fan. And you know how you kind of have to mess with them and balance them? No. Man, this thing They're all just... automatically balancing now. I think you're thinking like old stuff. No, old I mean, school. I just put a fan in a few years ago that wasn't one of these really? fans. Yeah. Anyways, you guys, I cannot say better things about the haiku fan there's not one thing i don't like about it you know easy install easy install i mean i'll show you guys the packaging everything came easy to install comes with everything um i thought it didn't come with one thing no it comes with everything it even comes with the wire nuts oh, nice. it sucked because as i did it, i did it by myself <laughs> And I was taking down the old fan, and I was trying to be all careful. And I took the last screw out, and the whole thing just fell, ripped all the wires oh, out man. my old fan. So you have to be careful with your, obviously, you're around electricity. Yes. But, dude, super easy. There's different mounts you guys can get. You can bring it down more. You can get it more flush to the ceiling if you like. Um, you know? It's just Actually, a cool, that's a pretty good bright, bright light. Yeah. It's a cool LED yeah. fan, man. I mean, you can't go wrong with it. Haiku fans, you guys, bigassfans.com. Check them out. Highly, highly, highly recommend this fan. I mean, I cannot tell you, you know, yes, people are going to be like, wow, why get that when I can get a $99 fan? Well, this is just the savings are going to be in the Yeah, that's run. my only thing because, like, I got a fan. I just bought one for the kids' room. The $99 ones, no, I agree with you. I think Yeah, but, dude, you guys put stuff on your fans. Yo, if my kids do, yeah, they ruin. His kids that's put Hot ruined. Wheels on it, turn it on, and they go fly it all over. Yeah, that's how they ruin the one. But now I got one. And I think I paid like 150 bucks, but man, that thing is awesome. This thing's awesome. Or the one you got is awesome. The one I got is awesome. I love it. I mean, really? I don't know, but I've never had one of these. So I can't, like I said, we leave our fans on in the house all the time, so it's hard for me to sit here and say, this one's better than but the other one. But here's the thing. With your fan now, it's always on a certain speed. With these fans, they could be on in your house in different areas, regulating the temperature with your heat system. See, that you're might gonna, be kind of cool. Yeah, yeah you're going to save money over time. Of... Are you going to pay for the fan like right away? No. But over maybe a five, ten year span, you know, you're going to pay for that fan. Well, if it's one of those things, energy. like if I had one in one room and you really get to see, wow, it, it, I don't even care if it pays for itself or not, but if it really is a nicer fan, then I agree that it would be worth it. Yeah, so now I see what you're saying. Yeah. You know. Cool stuff, you guys. Hashtag TA Crew. Don't forget to go to toolsnaction.com. Don't forget to go over to Instagram. Check out everything cool. And don't forget to write love letters to Eric because he's lonely. Thank you. Tools in Action. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com. <laughs>